Hey guys, it's Anthony Pio Chivona here, back with another market update. And today's video to talk about where the market has gone this past week and where we think the market's going to go finishing the week. If you're looking to become a, a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit the subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. And if you trade that, you're definitely going to want to subscribe. It's taken me two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of lessons learned, lots of losses taken along the way. And if you're not profitable yet, I believe you will be over time. It just takes the time of studying the charts, really dedicating lots of hours learning, taking a lot of losses, but uh, over time you make less and less mistakes and you become more profitable over time. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at ES on the daily chart. It's Thursday pre-market, 7 a.m. and uh, there's some 8.30 a.m. news coming out. I'll just go over the news real quick. You'll see uh, we have GDP and unemployment claims today and then tomorrow we have core PCE at 8.30 a.m. Well, that's inflation. So once we see those come out, we'll see where the market ends. But uh, I'm in my short average 41.50 ES. Last video I said I was really close to being stopped out and uh, now we're back to break even. Um, I was in the green yesterday, now we're back to break even as ES is about 41.48. Slight green right now. VIX had a good pop. Everything's looking really good for the short and that's where I left you off in the last video. I showed you all the divergences showing why we're gonna have about 5% sell off in the next seven to 20 days. So far, we did sell off about 2.6, 2.7% and then rebounded back up. Now we're just down about 2% from the last video. So I did say about four or 5%. Four um, percent is really my target, uh, first target. So first target is to sell off to about 4050s on ES, bring us down to sweep this recent low. And we'll go over those divergences again on HYG and DJT. But um, yeah, everything lo is looking good. So we did get the sell off. There's, you know, what's what did start to spark it was some some debt ceiling drama, which I did think was gonna, was gonna happen. But Honestly, it's just because of the charts. So in my opinion, the charts show us what's gonna happen and then some specific news comes out and gets tied to what was gonna happen anyways and then the sell-off gets kind of triggered. VIX had a, a really big push up and we're, we're cooling off today. So we, we went up, remember recently when I almost got stopped out Thursday, May 18th, I was saying, hey, looks like we're gonna sweep this low. I will be stopped out if we sweep this low in the VIX, but everything still looks good because we could just be back testing the support and pushing up into the low 20s. Yesterday we got to the low 20s on the VIX, like I like I was planning on, on seeing. So everything's just going to plan right now. No reason to take profit yet. No reason to get out of the trade yet because everything's going good. Nasdaq went up extreme because of Nvidia earnings. Nvidia added 200 billion in market cap after earnings came out. So impressive. So impressive. 389 pre market. Look at this. All time high was like 350. This is this is just. This is funny, you know, congrats to people who took calls on the earnings or whoever's in the trade, whoever's in NVIDIA as a long-term investment. That's awesome. Uh, I think this is just, it's so impressive. To go from 700 billion in market cap to 940 in a day, uh, it's just it's just wild. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see it. Uh, but anyways, because of that, NASDAQ was down yesterday and then went up extremely high. So, you know, look at this gap up now. Uh, Pretty funny. So we were selling off NASDAQ yesterday and then boom, pushed up. So just off the lows from yesterday, we're up 2.7%. I still do have this target of 13,120 by June 8th. That's based on the Dow theory crash signal. So, you know, that would be pointing to about a 6% sell off. Yeah, brings out to about 13,120 by June 8th. So based on DJT, that's, that's right there. I did have these fair value gaps previously from the four hour chart, but Nasdaq's just been too strong. I don't think that's gonna actually be reached. So we're just gonna be sticking with the 13,120 target by June 8th. I will admit that I am surprised with the, the strength of the Nasdaq only because of past times of the dollar breakout. So let's just take a look at DXY because every time the dollar broke out, it marked the top, top of Nasdaq, it marked the top of S&P 500, and we had a lot of weakness for both. But the dollar has just been rallying extremely aggressively and Nasdaq has still been up. So that, that's been surprising to me. Uh, delayed reaction, finally got a sell off with, e, uh, with ES, but yeah, DXY, like I said in the last video, we could be going for that 106 area. If we do push all the way up there, that, that would be impressive and we would really get to that 4,000 level on ES. So DXY being strong, great for our short. VIX being really strong, great for the short. And then uh, HYG has been selling off aggressively and actually broke down yesterday. So this is a really good confirmation for me. This HYG here broke down, the smart money flow broke down and, and went below the f May 4th low and went below these lows. So to me, when I see this, this basically means that we are gonna target the May 4th lows on ES. 
So May 4th lows on ES was 4060. So it gives us permission to basically fall below that level in the coming days. So that's why I have that, that target of 4060 by May 30th. That looks good. Um, so basically from today, pre-market from 4150, I am looking at about another 2% sell off in about one week. Uh, yep, time is really coming down. So in one week, another 2% down on ES. NASDAQ, honestly, I've, just, I've been getting this wrong because I thought we would have topped. So I don't want to say too much. It's just been really strong. Earnings have been good for tech companies. Tech, com tech sold off so aggressively in the bear market of 2022 that I think we're just having a really extreme rebound because of such an aggressive sell off. Makes sense. S&P 500 held up more in 2022, so now it's showing more weakness with the banks. They kind of flipped roles. That all makes sense. So, you know, in, in terms of downside, in the coming week, we may just sweep this recent low we made yesterday and get down to about 13,500. I can see that really happening. I can see that playing out, but again, I've been I've been wrong on the, on the NASDAQ. S&P 500 is what I trade, and it's more cleaner to me. It, it's more, it respects levels more, so... I'm more confident in, in calling different things on ES, not as confident on NASDAQ. And then DJT has been good, just been consistently selling off. We are down now, let's see, we are down now 10.2% from the highs on DJT. So we consistently keep getting sold off on DJT, which signals more weakness for S&P 500 and US 30. And then yields have been rising. So one thing that's actually really interesting in the news I don't know if you saw this, but basically, Fed expects a recession near the end of 2023. That's one thing. The Fed also isn't going to cut rates in 2023. So basically, we have a recession coming where there's going to be no rate cuts. That basically signals more pain to come for housing market and other things like that. But the market can rise from now into the end of the year. Uh, basically based on those fears. Well, the market likes to do the opposite of what people think. So if there's a whole bunch of fear mongering, then the market can just go up, stock market that is. So maybe once we sell off to about the 4,000 level on ES, maybe we start trending back up. After we get down to these levels, you know, end of, Jay, uh, end of May, early June, maybe we start pushing back up and we just, then we, then we break this high. Who knows? I'm not gonna talk about that yet. I wanna see these divergences play out yet and then see where we're at. Everything looks good for the short. I am break even on the short. We'll just watch and see how things play out. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Make If you didn't watch the divergence video that came out Sunday, definitely go ahead and watch that. And then look out for my next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. I'll do a full weekly recap and we'll see where the market finishes off this week. Happy trading. Make sure you stick to your rules. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.